Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is Influential People in World History, Poetic Tour, Part 2. George Washington, 1732 to 1799. United States of America. George Washington led the 13 North American English colonies to victory against Great Britain in the War of Independence, the American Revolution. A man of great character, the father of the USA, it is so important to recognize George Washington's contribution. <clears throat> Karl Marx, 1818-1883, Germany and United Kingdom. Karl Marx invented the political ideology of communism, which claims to create an ideal society of brotherhood, but which, in reality, has been the greatest fraud in history. Communism was adopted in Russia, Eastern Europe, China, North Korea, Cuba, and Vietnam. It appeals to intellectuals and the poor, but only created a new and much worse form of tyranny. Orville and Wilbur Wright 1871 to 1848 and 1867 to 1912, the United States. Orville, Orville and Wilbur Wright made the first airplane flight in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina on December 17, 1903. Thus began the age of aviation, travel by airplane. What an incredible achievement. On that, we all can agree. Genghis Khan, 1162 to 1227, Mongolia. Genghis Khan was the founder of the enormous Mongol Empire, from the Baltic Sea in Europe all the way to the Pacific Ocean in China. This, this helped establish the Silk Road and much greater trade and communication between Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Adam Smith 1723 to 1790, Scotland, United Kingdom. Adam Smith believed in freedom in the world of work. He wrote the book The Wealth of Nations and is considered the father of capitalism. Other folks believe in enslavement. Their hero is Karl Marx and they support communism. William Shakespeare, England, Great Britain, 1564 to 1616. Considered the greatest writer in the English language. Some quotes by William Shakespeare. To be or not to be, that is the question. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Cowards die many times before their deaths. The valiant never taste of death but once. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If music be the food of love, play on. What's in a name? A rose by any name would smell as sweet. To thine own self be true. All that glitters is not gold. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. John Dalton, England, Great Britain, 1766 to 1844. John Dalton was an English chemist, physicist, and meteorologist. He researched color blindness and introduced the atomic theory into chemistry. Golly gee whiz, it's clear he also believed in the importance of industry. 
Alexander the Great, 356 to 323 BC, ancient Greece. Alexander the Great created an empire all the way from Greece to India. This created a connection between the wisdom of the ancient Greeks and Eastern powerful spirituality. Napoleon Bonaparte, 1769 to 1821, France. Napoleon Bonaparte created a French empire while conquering most of Europe. He changed the world by spreading the ideals of the French Revolution, liberty, equality, and fraternity. His contributions to the world were humongous. Meritocracy, equality before the law, property rights, religious toleration, the end of rural banditry, and encouragement of art and science. Napoleon Bonaparte was truly one of the greatest men in history. Thomas Edison, 1847 to 1931, United States. Thomas Edison was America's greatest inventor. He developed many devices in fields such as motion pictures, sound recording, electric power generation, and mass communication. They included the phonograph, the motion picture camera, and electric light bulb. The whole world has benefited from his work, not just the American nation. Antony van Leeuwenhoek 1632 to 1723, the Netherlands. Antony van Leeuwenhoek was a Dutch businessman and scientist. He is the father of microbiology and pioneered the development of the microscope. For those interested in the development of science and medicine, this really brought a lot of hope. William T.G. Martin. 1819 to 1868, United States. William T.G. Martin was an American dentist who pioneered inhaled ether as anesthesia during surgery. This medical development meant folks could be unconscious during operations and no longer experience agony. Guglielmo Marconi, Italy, 1874 to 1937. Guglielmo Marconi was an Italian inventor and electrical engineer. He is credited as the inventor of the radio. The beginning of global culture, mass communication and entertainment at home. The dawn of a new era. For those who enjoyed silence, the new invention was their foe. <clears throat> Adolf Hitler, Austria and Germany, 1889-1945. Adolf Hitler was the dictator of Germany from 1933-1945. to He organized the Holocaust in which 6 million European Jews were murdered. Hitler started the Second World War in Europe with the German invasion of Poland on September 1, 1939. The reality of evil in the world. That was the bottom line. Plato, 424 to 348 B.C., Athens, Greece. Philosopher. Plato was the founder of the Academy, the first institution of higher learning in the Western world. He was a student of Socrates and teacher of Aristotle. Some quotes by Plato. He who is not a good servant will not be a good master. Knowledge, which is acquired under compulsion, obtains no hold on the mind. If a man neglects education, he walks lame to the end of his life. Good actions give strength to ourselves and inspire good actions in others. Beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. Good people do not need laws to tell them to act responsibly while bad people will find a way around the laws. Never discourage anyone who continually makes progress, no matter how slow. Do not train a child by force or harshness, but direct them to it by what amuses their minds, so that they may be better able to discover with accuracy the peculiar bent of their genius. Oliver Cromwell 
1599 to 1658, England, Great Britain. In the struggle for democracy in England, Oliver Cromwell led the force for freedom, the army of Parliament, to victory against the army of King Charles I in the English Civil War. Sadly, Cromwell later became a dictator himself. He developed a love for power and, tragically, wanted more. Alexander Graham Bell, 1847-1922, Scotland, Canada, and the United States. Alexander Graham Bell was a scientist and an inventor. Both his mother and wife were deaf. This led him into research on hearing and speech, which resulted in his experiments with hearing devices, which culminated in his invention of the telephone. In the communication revolution, this was the greatest milestone. Alexander Fleming, 1881-1955, Scotland, United Kingdom. Alexander Fleming revolutionized medical care when he discovered the bacteria killer, the world's first antibiotic, the miraculous penicillin. This wonder drug has saved and is saving the lives of millions of people around the world. This has meant the destruction of the ancient scourges of syphilis, gangrene, and tuberculosis, truly an incredible wonder of modern medicine. John Locke, 1632-1704, England, Great Britain. John Locke was a philosopher and one of the most influential Enlightenment thinkers, and he was a major influence behind the U.S. Declaration of Independence. Some quotes by John Locke. The Bible is one of the greatest blessings bestowed by God on the children of men. It has God for its author, salvation for its end, and truth without any mixture for its matter. It is all pure. And New opinions are always sus- suspected and usually opposed, without any other reason but because they are not already common. What worries you masters you. To love our neighbors as ourselves is such a truth for regulating human society. By that alone, one might determine all the cases in social morality. All men are liable to error, and most men are in many points by passion or interest under temptation to it. Fashion, for the most part, is nothing but the ostentation of riches. Education begins the gentleman, but reading, good company, and reflection must finish him. Ludwig van Beethoven, 1770 to 1827. He was a German from the Holy Roman Empire and Austria, a musical composer and pianist. Ba 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 bum, ba 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 bum. Ludwig van Beethoven composed nine symphonies, five piano concertos, 32 piano sonatas, and one violin concerto, as well as 16 string quartets, two masses, and the opera Fidelio. Werner Heisenberg, 1901-1976, Germany. Werner Heisenberg was a German theoretical physicist and a key pioneer in the creation of quantum mechanics. For his efforts and achievements in 1932, he received the Nobel Prize in Physics. Louis Daguerre, 1787-1851, France. Louis Daguerre is considered one of the fathers of photography for his invention of the daguerreotype. What an incredibly important step this was into the modern world, an invention that truly lived up to its hype. Simon Bolivar, 1783-1830, Venezuela, South America. Simon Bolivar was the Venezuelan military and political leader who led successful wars of independence for six countries. Venezuela, Bolivia, Ecuador, Peru, Panama, and Colombia, against the Spanish Empire in South America. 
Rene Descartes, 1596 to 1650, France and Holland, philosopher, mathematician, and scientist, and one of the founders of modern philosophy. Some quotes by Descartes. I think, therefore I am. A state is better governed which has few laws, and those laws strictly observed. Traveling is almost like talking with those of other centuries. Divide each difficulty into as many parts as is feasible and necessary to resolve it. The reading of all good books is like conversation with the finest minds of past centuries. It is not enough to have a good mind. The main thing is to use it well. Michelangelo, 1475 to 1564, Italy. Michelangelo was an Italian sculptor, painter, architect, and poet of the High Renaissance. He sculpted the masterpieces the Pietà, David, and Moses. He painted scenes from the book of Genesis and the Old Testament of the Bible on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican in Rome, as well as the Last Judgment there on the altar wall. Even though he left this world centuries ago, let's give him another round of applause so he can make a curtain call. Well, that concludes today's presentation. I hope you have a good history book to read or find one. There's been so many amazing history books that have been written. You might consider checking out our website, Adventures in History with Peter J. Ray, at peterjray.com. So far, we've made 628 history videos in seven areas. World history, American history, book reviews, poetic tours, Cleveland baseball, family history, and autobiography. You also might consider checking out our podcast, if you live in Metro Manila, Philippines and are looking for a high school, you might consider Restlust Educational Center, which is located in San Juan, Metro Manila. We specialize in helping young people who have had difficulty in the larger traditional high schools. And the, the website is restlust.education, R-E-S-A-L-E-S-T. <clears throat> Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care. And I'll see you next time.